close out of the windows. Okay, so we are just leaving Highworth. Yeah, and we're off to find the source of the Thames today. And we're still going to take our magnet and, uh, you know, see if we get anywhere. Don't be silly, just point it out the front, Ashley. Okay, can you see out the front? Yeah. So, we've just been passing, hopefully there'll be a sign. Because this is our start point, Highworth. Yeah. And we're taking the scenic journey. Um, just to show you some of the villages out in the Cotswolds, really. They say Highworth is the gateway to the Cotswolds. So here we are, Letchlade. Uh, so this is our next stop. Letchlade. So when shall I pause it? Wow. Okay. Right, so we are um, going to Letchlade. Oh, yeah. Getting in to Letchlade. Just In the air cold now. Yeah, so we're just approaching Letch Lake now, which is where we like to come a lot for our magnet fishing. Yeah. It's very close to us. Um, it's really hot today. Oh, just now my temperature was saying 26. Probably not the best day to go on an adventure in the car. But it's Sunday today and it's a bank holiday weekend. So I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. But, oh, look at all that in the riverside, all in the beer garden. Look, show everyone the beer garden. Yeah, but can't really see. So yeah, we could have gone the A four nine A four one nine way, but uh, just for the purpose of our video, we thought it'd be better to do the scenic route, go through the little villages for you. Obviously, we. St I mean, I I have to drive through this. Set through Letchlade and Burford to go to work. Um, but it seems a lot of people, especially Americans, seem to like the Cotswolds. I don't know why. Like Burford, a few shops on the hill, what's so special? I, I don't get it, but there you are. Heading towards Fairford now. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be the next village. Oh, come on. Jesus Christ. So the Christmas shop used to be there on the left, but it's moved recently to across the road. Yeah. So the Christmas shop there, show everyone the Christmas shop, Ashley. Yeah. All year round Christmas shop. Yeah. Oh, look, Mustang. Oh, that is nice. That red one. Not often we see the American cars around here. Although in Whitney, I, I saw an American car the other day. That looked pretty awesome. An old one. That's oh, an old oh one. look, it's an old Porsche. Oh, yeah. Did everyone see that or no? Well, it was green. Yeah. There was trees in the way. Okay. Should be able to see it. Yeah. So we're going to keep rolling until we get past Letchley Garden Centre. Yeah. Otherwise it's just boring old roads. Yeah. I think ages ago they were going to start building up there but I don't know what happened. They built a roundabout and a little road to go up there, but nothing, nothing ever come of that. Right. Garden centre's busy because they're using a bit of wind to blow the loop. Okay, so next stop, Fairford. Yeah. yeah. Did you stop it yet? Go in? Yeah. Okay, so now we've reached Fairford. Um, yeah, I mean you've got the Army uh, Air Force, RAF Fairford here, or just back there really, where they put the Royal International Air Tattoo on. Um, maybe on the way back we could drive past the main gates of that, see the soldiers with their guns and stuff. Way 
sometimes I just drive through we never oh, it's just somewhere we drive through really but I hate this bit of road because it's like always busy not too bad to say Picture actually. Yeah. Shout out to. Do you want to go across? No? Something go? women across. See, I've done a good deed for today, look. Okay. So there is a river that runs through Fairford. Um, there's a lot of signs to say private and it's owned by, I can't remember who it's owned by, but just as we go around the corner in a minute, look at all this, it's lovely isn't it? Yeah. Uh, just on this corner here, if you look down you can see, well we've seen crayfish haven't we before, but you can see there's a lot of junk there for the magnet fishing and we were thinking about it and then a police car came down we thought better of it. So. Just down there, it's, it's really good by the looks of it. I saw some scissors. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. I thought there. it was a fidget spinner at first. Yeah. Like a fruit. Red. Okay, so next stop. Should be sirens, I still do. Yeah. Okay, this is Portland. Maybe that's how you say it, I don't know. It's quite a town. Not much here, really tiny place. Again, never stopped here either, it's just somewhere to drive through on your way. Houses, look. Yes. 
building houses everywhere these days. Yeah. Yeah. So we might get a bit lost since I'm trying to find the A433. Normally when we come to Siren Sester we just look around the town, go to Magic Land, or we haven't been there for a little while because you two are getting bigger aren't you? Yeah. Magic Land's an indoor like play area. Ever been, yeah. We used to love Magic Land when you were younger, didn't we? Yeah, I, yeah. I probably still like it. Probably. So far. Yeah. There's a big slide there, isn't there? Yeah, massive. So I think Siren Setter is meant to be the capital of the Cotswolds, is it? Something like that. The heart of the Cotswolds, if you like, I don't know. There's a funny little village just past Sirencester, I can't remember what it's called, and there's like horses and cows just oh, like yeah. in the roads. Oh. oh yeah, when we would go and get this nice Mercedes with Dad's car, we used to have a bowl of it, Dad crashed it into a deer. I'm going to crash it. Yeah. So where's A433? We're lost already. Let's go through the town. Okay. Yeah. No, we've gone wrong. I w if we'd have gone 419 way, yeah. we'd have been where I wanted to be for Magic Land. Yeah. 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 That's where I've gone wrong. That's where I've got lost. Yeah. I don't know. It's a nice Miss Allen front. It is. You can about see. You may as well pause it while we're at the light. Oh yeah. Right, that was just, just the traffic lights. And that uh, mean I just paused it. So we're still rolling again. So this is where we would come if we're going into the town and we would park. There's parking down here. Lots of good parking. Uh, parking we're going to end up back out because I've just realised where I've gone wrong. I could go straight onto the ring road. Uh, I don't know. I'll just do it in the way I know, I guess. But there's a car park we would normally go to. Yeah. 3 parking in this car park after 3 p.m. Yeah. Oh shit, I thought it was one way from it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, one video is now. It was. Oh god. Ring Road. We've been to the museum a few times, haven't we? I really can't think here because we've come in from the wrong end that we normally come in. Yeah. A435, we want A433, don't we? Yeah. Uh, let's go and try down there. We want McDonald's from Tesco's. Yeah. When we find that, Yeah. Oh. Super 
Then that's where you've got magical land as well. A433. You still recording? Yeah. yeah. I should have put Tom Tom up, I suppose, but I don't know. Yeah, but it's not going to be bothered. I know, you think you know the area, and then you think, oh, actually you don't. So, See, we don't want to go to Magic Land today. We're trying to find the A433, which yeah. isn't down there by the looks of it. Is it? No, it didn't say. Right, you may as well. One of that's the pub sign there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Done? Are we done? Yep. I don't need it now. Okay, so our quest to find the Thames, the source of the Thames, has led us here. But now I'm not sure if we're here. We've parked up there. There's another car parked there. We've had a quick look on the map, Google Maps, and it says maybe it should be six minutes by foot down there, although we don't know. So we've come to this style. Yeah, um, well I'm on. If I'm going to well, it's quiet, I've had a quiet moment, it's because the cars do come shooting up, so we're going to try, go down there. Yeah. But it does seem hard to find, it's not any, it doesn't seem, it's, we've got signs that say public footpath, you can see that would be hidden in the trees so you yeah. might miss it so yeah let's uh have a walk down there and see what we get yeah okay so we've come to another little style and it's a good one it's not it's not capturing it very well is it and another thing we notice i don't know if you can see up there let's try and zoom in a lot of uh, parachute glider things. Okay, over this style. I'm not convinced, by the way, that we're on the right path. Um, but it said walking six minutes this way, we should be there. So. 
case. Okay, so it's took us off of that field and into this field now. So bring us to another little style. And again, put public footpath. But nothing says Thames path. There's nothing to say um, what we're we looking for again, the Thames head. The source of the Thames. There's nothing to say any of that. Two signs. Oh, yeah. What is it? There's more signs this side. Please keep your dog on the lead, stay on the path, thank you. That's a newer. I don't know what these stickers are. The Monarch's Way. Well, we're not interested in Monarch's Way, we're interested in Thames Ed Way. So, pause it again. Okay, so we've come to this now. Uh, it's a load of water. I have to get my magnet out. Oh, there's, there. there's worms! Is there? There is. That's what ends up in our water, but those sort of worms. So what does this say? Again, public footpath. So, there we are. Bit of string. Come on then, guys. Hurry up. This is hurting my hand. So, public footpath. Well, I would say not that way. I would say this way. Wouldn't you? Yeah. What did the sign say? Again, it's really bad for signage around here. Left. It did say left, so this way. So we're not there's paying there, we're not paying attention as well. Yeah, there's a sign there. So what does this say? Public footpath. Tunnel house one mile. Sapperton three and a half miles. Yeah, yeah. I would say we need to go that way. Um again. Okay. No, only going by the maps. The wisest way. I've seen that. Yeah, offs, offers Dyke to Thames Path. Is this the way we need to go? Yeah. Okay, so we have got to this bridge that we didn't realise we must have come across. Um, I would assume this is part of the Thames because it would be uh, filled with water normally, I guess. Yeah. There's a lot of crap here. An engine, that is an engine down there. So. There's a lot of like barrel tops, the metal bit for barrels. There's a wheel down there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah. Uh, a lot of sort of wire he um, stuff. Pig fire. This bridge. So this bridge is, yeah, I, I don't know. A lot of holes in certain bricks. Yeah. Careful. Oh yeah, yeah, there's an engine down there, look. I wonder what that engine is off of. The bucket that's been stood on. Yeah. Yeah, very strange. Something big and long metal there. I don't know what that is. This has got to be part of the Thames Path though. We go down that way. I don't know what way. That sounds like where we're going here. Look, people have walked that way as well. Right, let's go. Keep going. Okay, so we're now approaching another bridge. It's been a long way. Our map says something like six minutes. We've been going a lot longer than that. Look, farming equipment down there. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. We found a lot. I take it this is the bed of a river down here. Um, focusing. Not very well, is it? 
you can see old sort of farm something that would have been pulled by a horse I suppose a plough or whatever Yeah. Right. So, yeah, there is a gate over there. Yeah, very new looking gate. So we've come to another bridge. It looks a bit funny on an angle. Um, I don't know what's up there. So I'm I'm getting a bit nervous because we've been going a long time. Yeah, that's, they've patched it up actually. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't know where we are exactly. I hate coming on these sort of things. So I always worry about getting lost. Yeah, it's funny this bridge is. You can get can you get up to the bridge that way, can you? Don't know. No. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. We're going off the path though actually, that's the thing. Yeah. No, what's up there? Let's stay to the path. Stop. Otherwise we we'll get lost. And that won't be no fun. Interesting. Yeah, it leads us. Maybe that's a train. Yeah, probably. I can hear something. Can you hear it? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's a tractor. Oh, yeah. Not a train. So, yeah, I mean, if water was to flow through here, I mean, you know, it doesn't look like it's ever flowed through here to me. It must have done at one point. Yeah, wildlife. Right. Keep going then. Okay, so along our little trek, not far from the bridge, was just up there. We've just come across this old thing. Like a folly or a castle. And the entrance looks pretty tall. Should we explore it for a minute? Yeah. Why don't we try one first? It's to be me, not you. That may have been the entrance there. It's bricked up. Path down there. Let's have a quick look. Oh, there's a... It's overgrown with shit stuff, sorry, excuse the language. So yeah, it's like a fireplace thing there. There would have been a door there, look. So you can see the stair steps, where the steps would have been. And there's like a stair metal rail. That's possibly a window then. A roundhouse, yeah, it's probably a roundhouse. You know, like at Letchlade, there's a roundhouse. Although this looks like it was pretty stunning back in its day. So it would have come out here, this would have been the front door entrance area now. Oh wow, yeah. There's some metals, like a roof, a tin roof here. I don't want to investigate it too much. I don't want to lose my camera in there, but nice little find. I didn't expect that on our little trail. So we were just discussing how far should we go? Because I don't know. I mean, I keep moaning about it, about yeah, the six minutes, said six minutes, and 
There's some sort of structure down there, wood, may, uh, not wood, sorry, brick, brickwork, maybe part of a, another bridge or something. So what's this? In memory of Tony Robinson, whose drive and passion achieved so much for the Cotswold Canal. So this is part of the canal. Tony Robinson, isn't that the guy that done Time Team? I'm sure it is. If someone says Tony Robinson, that's who I'm thinking of. Time Team Man. I didn't know he died. This bench seems fairly old. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep moving. Actually, Ashley. Um, Yeah. Because look at the top. I was thinking of making a good thumbnail for a video. Alright, pause it again. Okay, so we're coming up to another bridge. It's a lot of, um, like, I guess canal, the brickwork along there. And it looks like we might be approaching water as well now. I think so. I thought there was a smell. I thought it was something to do with the farmers. So, it's another bridge. And there is definitely water. So be careful now, guys. There's a tennis ball in there. Like a dog. Yeah. That's like a dam, isn't it, there, though? Yeah. yeah. You definitely see it being taller. Okay, so we've got water now, or a little bit of water. And I won't be sticking my magnet in here, because it's full of a lot of cans and stuff, as you might be able to see. Bridge, dam. So hopefully we're getting close, because I don't like this. Earlier back there, we, there was a load of like, someone's making a fire in the middle of it, and I'm like, oh, you know, you don't know what sort of stuff goes on down here at night, witchy stuff, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so it's been virtually dry quite long there. There's, we've seen this sort of maybe concrete bank the other side. And so it's gone dry. Yeah, there's like a chair down there. Oh yeah, there's a chair down there. Yeah, like I say, you don't know what goes on out here. Uh, right, so we've come into a bit more water now. There's a cone down there. Yeah, and we're approaching another bridge. I do hope we're reaching our destination because... We've probably only been walking maybe 15-20 minutes, would you say? But it feels longer because for me, I get nervous. I don't know why. Crap in my pants. Oh my god, I crap in my pants. It's nice and clear down there. I don't know if yeah. you can see it. It's got a lot wider. That's brickwork over there. So it's, it must all be brickwork. I don't know what's up there, but there's cars. You can hear cars going up there. It looks very mouldy and yucky down there. I'm a bit nervous. My phone's going to fall off down there. And luckily there's some other people. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. People are still going down there. Yeah. Right, so we're again. So we've come to another uh, bridge. Looks quite a pretty bridge. Look, look. What's this? Sapperton Canal Tunnel. We've just asked some people. They don't know anything about the, um, the start of the Thames. Um, so I don't know. We might call it a day in a minute. They said we're very close to that pub that we parked up earlier, the Thames Head pub. But this looks very pretty, interesting. Yeah. 
Does say stuff. Henry what? Don't see him anymore. So Henry what is that? Henry Henry, is it? Henry I don't know. But, oh, I don't know what it says. It's few graffiti, yeah. Long way down cat guys, careful. Yeah, there's water there as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, be careful here, guys. There's something up there as well. Sign up there. Let's try and zoom in on that sign. Sure. Viewers. Well, it's not focusing, is it? Okay. There is water down there. I'm a bit nervous about my phone. You probably can't see it very well anyway. It's feeling cold here as well. There's a cold breeze coming out the tunnel. Maybe it's ghosts. So, the Canal and Tunnel, Canal at Coates. That's where we've ended up. enough guys maybe we'll have a pint here and call it a day I don't know this this is why we saw the cars it's pretty it's been a good adventure we haven't found the Thames, the start of the Thames though. I took it out, it's probably another. sign there. Thames and Seven Way. What do I do? Should we call it a day? Let's go for a drink in there and call it a day, shall we? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe another, another time. Or we need to find how to get here, the tunnel house in, and then park here and maybe go yeah, for a while. We are at the back of it, I think. Yeah, so we've decided we're going to have a pint. And then maybe ask someone if they know the way. Well, 
I'll sit him. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't do our quest, we couldn't find it. Um, we're going to end the video now, we're back at the car. Um, we spoke to the people in the pub, or a lady in the pub. She said we had to go off the track to find it. And then whilst we were walking back, we met some people walking their dog. And they said, no, 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 you can't get to it no more, it's blocked off. Um, and they told us it was like four or five miles away from where we were, which we kind of don't believe because we're sure we were on the right track by the people in the pub said we was on the right track. But, I don't know, it's, it seems pretty much impossible, it's not signposted, it seems pretty much impossible to find. Um, so yeah, we'll have to make a part two and try and find it another day because it's, well it's getting to be our tea time to be honest, we're going to go home have some tea. It's been a good adventure anyway. Um, she's been a bit silly. <laughs> well I'm annoyed mm. that we didn't find We're it. We're all annoyed we didn't find it but what can we do? Um, find it again. So ah. that's it. We have to go on another mission to find where the tent will start. We'll have to do probably a load of more research. Okay so don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. And we'll catch you on the next video when we try to, uh, I don't know when that'll be by the way. Tomorrow. Maybe. But Tomorrow. we'll try and find the another day, okay? Tomorrow at uh, okay. Peace out. No.